turns out, I am not the only gaijin living in Japan. And I am certainly not the only gaijin with a point of view about this country. Um, it's not something that even really needs mentioning, but everything I say on this channel is pretty much my point of view. And my point of view comes from my own experience, my own background, and my own belief system. And uh, I really, really hope that I am not the only person you're getting information from about Japan, because it's very much biased uh, to my perspective. There are a lot of other people out there vlogging about Japan, and many of them are doing a very good job of it. But what's most interesting about the fact there are so many gaijin out there sharing their take on Japan uh, with the world not in Japan is that there's a really variety of uh, voices to be heard with their own, uh, you know, unique and uh, I think valid point of view about the country. I'm going to recommend some of them because I think the biggest danger about being a foreigner living in Japan is you start to believe that you are the only person who has a worthwhile point of view about this country. And that is really far from the truth. You see, uh, I am basically a prisoner of my own background, my own point of view. And uh, there's a lot of things I'm not interested in uh, and therefore really don't give uh, time to in this vlog. Like things like uh, manga, anime, otaku culture, um, you know, other skin colors. Uh, I mean, I don't know what it's like being a black person living in Japan or in Asia. I don't know what it's like being an Asian American living in uh, Japan. I don't know what it's like being a woman living in Japan. Um, but those people all have, I think, pretty uh, interesting points of view that are different from mine. And the longer you live here, uh, gaijin like myself tend to start to get really um, evangelical about their particular take on the country and try to convince everyone that uh, the way they see the country is the way it is. And that's really not the case. Uh, I strongly recommend, if you're interested in this country, you listen to those other voices out there that have really interesting, I think, uh, things to say about these people and uh, this culture. Um, I'm going to do my best to connect you to some of them on uh, YouTube and also other blogs out there. Um, basically, just to name a few, and I'm really going to have to apologize to the front. I don't know uh, offhand all of the people I should be recommending, but they are uh, easy to find. Just do a search for Japan and you know, you'll find them. But a couple of people I'm subscribed to, you can check my subscription list and there's probably more. And I'll put uh, in the video comments section over here uh, links to all those other users. Uh, one of them, for example, uh, my favorite, uh, Discount Sausage. She does not make videos nearly often enough, but uh, has an interesting point of view as a woman living in Japan. Uh, I really like uh, her vlogs. They're well put together and uh, funny. Um, other people, Zen Hill, an Australian living out in Kansai, who's married. He has a very interesting perspective as uh, being part of a, you know, intercultural marriage. Um, and a lot of things that I would never think, you know, and he uh, also is a father, so I mean, he has a lot of uh, views that I maybe would never see. Um, Gokusan86, very young, uh, but uh, full of vim and vigor, uh, is one way to put it. A uh, blogger who just got here about two, three months ago, and he's kind of charting, you know, uh, his, I guess, beginning of his life here. Um, I check out his vlogs because he's starting to actually vlog in a more serious manner about his life here. It's also be good for people who are just planning on moving here to maybe get an idea of what that growth process is like. Um, other people, oh god, there's so many. Um, Tokyo Swan, who is a student actually living uh, studying in Tokyo. He also does uh, reviews of Japanese horror films, uh, which means for a lot of people out there. Um, there's one uh, woman, I can't remember her name offhand, also a student, who's here and I think wants to become a manga writer. Uh, so like the two of them I think would be fascinating because they're interested in things I'm really not, uh, horror films and uh, manga. So I would definitely want to hear their opinions if you're interested in either of those two things. Um, uh, give me a break, man. Uh, who also lives out in Nagoya, I believe, uh, and is a teacher. Much, much information about Japan from a slightly older perspective. I believe he's originally from uh, South American background, so he has a different perspective. Uh, Genki is a salsaholic, another uh, Latina, uh, who's uh, vlogging about uh, life in Japan. Um, there's so many, there's so many, and I'll put more links uh, to these people again on the side there. But really the key is to remember that um, there's a lot of different people out there with different backgrounds. Uh, 
and, and you know, that's really the cool thing about YouTube on the whole, is that it really isn't one person's impression of the country uh, only. It's a real mosaic of people and opinions, and uh, all that information out there is accessible for you. So I definitely recommend taking advantage of uh, all that stuff out there. Also some blogs, and blogs I think are really good uh, to get information, but you know, of course, watching a video is a little bit easier than reading. Uh, for some people, but uh, Gaijin Smash, um, there's a lot of forums as well. A lot of the forums I find to be full of really, really bitter people, and because there's no face on it, uh, they tend to say things I think they wouldn't say if they were held accountable uh, with their own face, because uh, they'd be too embarrassed to be as racist, xenophobic, or um, just generally nihilistic as they are. But I really, really, really do strongly recommend um, checking out some of the blogs as well and forums. Uh, anyway, uh, check out all that info and... Uh, wow. Yeah.